Oh, and we are on. Good day, everybody. We are, uh, let's take this uh, spring out of the way. It looks a bit odd here in the background. Here we go. Right, here we are. Um, we are starting, I'm starting a series, and the series is, uh, it's, not, it's not really a series. It's kind of a theme as my my uh, journey into vaping and and uh, i'll i'll start uh, out with uh, how i started out into the rebuildable realm and my first rebuildable tank i ever had the pleasure to own is this this is known and i'm sure some of you will recognize it very nicely it's the geek vape emmet oh, no, no, here we go it's a Geekwake Emmet and it is a mouth to lung. So it's a Geekwake Emmet MTL RTA. That was my first rebuildable tank ever. And the way you see it on here, this is how I rocked this thing because this was my one and only independent mod I had from 2016 when I first started out and tried to get off smoking using vapes which wasn't successful with the mellow 2 tank but i still had the mod so i used the mod it is a single battery 18650 it is called the uh, i stick tc tc 60 v so it's a 60 watt single battery mod and uh, for mouth to lung no problem whatsoever Mmm, Mars and melons. Ooh, lekker, lekker, lekker. Right. So what I will do is that uh, I will I will uh, go down and we will have a quick look at the Geek Web Emmet, the way I got it and what I did with it and how I uh, coil it and how I wick it. And then we'll meet uh, upstairs again and I'll uh, wobble on a bit more. How about that? Right. See you in a minute. Cheers. And here we go. There we are downstairs and we're having a look at the Emmet. Comes in a clamshell like that, plastic clamshell. Comes with some extra spare glass. It comes with a little baggie which has uh, the tool and the uh, O-rings. Actually comes with a couple of coils and it comes with an extra mouthpiece. Tell you about that extra mouthpiece in a minute. Right, let's put that away and let's have a look at the emmet itself. That's what it looks like. Might be a bit damp at places because I just cleaned it out. Here we go. So we start from the top. It has a standard 510 mouse piece. Here we go. You can have a quick look through it. Yeah, let's see if we can get this sharp. There we go, it's sharp enough. You see it has a uh, that two, two and a bit millimeter hole. The other mouthpiece you saw in the baggie, well, that mouthpiece is actually uh, a little bit tighter. So if you want a tighter draw, so similar shape mouthpiece, but it has a tighter draw. So there's the mouthpiece. Then the full port is an unscrew full port. Here you go. It's a solid, solid piece of metal right over here and you see the kidney shaped holes right over here and they are big enough to get most bottles in that's fine there's no problem there and you see it has the seal right there at the neck then let's have a look here this is the airflow control here you go um, let's see if we can get this a little bit focused in here we go right now it has a couple of let's get down my professional lighting a bit closer here here we go yeah much better so it has a couple of holes you can open uh, the holes uh, from five all the way down to one with just and you can just keep on going because then on the other side there comes a hole along which you can open the holes singularly down to the famous golf ball through the garden hose oh, well, here we go so it gets uh, 
it gets very tight. I don't know where I am. Here we go. Very, very tight draw if you if you're into that. And uh, that's it. And the airflow control ring actually does come off. No problem whatsoever. Then uh, let's put that all back together again. And we come to the interesting part of procedures. Let's put that on. Right, let's have a look at the deck. You see some branding right over here. And then we'll screw off the deck. And here we are. That's the deck of the Emmet. Here we go. Here we go. It's a bit better focused. You can see the two juice holes right over there. It has uh, Phillips screws to screw it in. It has uh, these screws over here, which are now wide open. And you will see in a minute why. Let's open this up actually a bit more. Here you go. And uh, you see the, the juice comes in. Let's get this a bit closer. Juice comes in from right underneath from there. So the whole thing obviously is full of juice and then it comes from the bottom. That's very important to know because it uh, has an influence on your wicking, your wick master lung, just a little bit different from what you would wick other atomizers. Right, now well, let's pop that onto something. Let's find a mod. I found one right in front of me, which is the Rinko Magman, which is my if you want some of my work mod, they work very well. They are just reliable. Maybe not the most fancy ones, but they just work. Here you go. So here we are. Let's put that light out of the way a little bit. Here you go. So we can now uh, see the top. And what I want to do now is put a coil in. Now I've prepared a couple of coils. I've first prepared that one here which is just a normal Cantle 24 gauge uh, coil, which I wrap 10 times right over here. But then I saw that I have some other coiling material, which is this. Now this is a uh, simple Clapton. It has a Cantle on the inside, I think 20, six and it's wrapped with 30 gauge wire micron 80 on the outside which makes it a quite thick uh, wire but it is a master lung wire i've uh, i've checked if you wrap it just seven times we should be at around about one ohm now the interesting part of this is that the holes on the emmet are quite small here i'll show you how small they are that gives you an idea so they are smallish. So we will now try to get the wire through here. And you will also see that the port here is quite smallish. So you won't get the wire all the way down to the bottom airflow. But you see there's also a side airflow. We'll hope this will do. So let's see. Otherwise, I'll need to wrap another 2 millimeter one. This has been wrapped around a 2.5 millimeter pole. If you use a single normal simple simple wire you can uh, use a three millimeter and fan dangle it in it is close two and a half millimeter is comfortable now i have done this on two and a half millimeter and that might that might be a bit big but let's see how it works out I swear, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you remember when I told you we need to unscrew this a little bit more? Well, that's what we have to do. Here we go. Try to fandangle one leg here. We have done it. Trying to fandangle the other leg in here. We have done it. Right, then we need a screwdriver. And as it so happens, I have one right over here. Now, unfortunately, with a, there's a flat hat, so I need to change the head of this. 
And you can tell I'm well prepared for this, can't you? Here we go. Right. Now we will uh, just screw the shut here around my camera. Interesting, but we can do it. Come on, Roland. Here we go. Right. Yeah, doesn't look too good, does it? Ah, don't worry about it. We'll check it up. You could use a screwdriver. I just use uh, the two and a half millimeter part, which I use wrap my coil around from the coil master. Pop it in here, and slowly and carefully and dangle it into the position I want it to be as close to the side airflow as I dare to go. Here you are. Maybe a bit too close for comfort. We lift it up a little bit. Move it a little bit away from there. Of course, if you hit uh, the metal, you'll you'll get a short. That's obviously what we don't want. Yeah, that that looks much better, doesn't it? Right. Now we want to get rid of the excess wire. Take my trusted old snips to do that. Here we go. Always want to have your finger around here, especially if you. You, like me, have animals in the house. The last thing you want to have is pieces of wire sticking in their feet. Not a good idea. Right, let's have another look at the wire. Make it nice and neat that it looks a bit... Here you go, and it looks a bit... Uh, in tune. That, that looks good to me. There we go. Looks a bit close from that angle, but it's actually cool. It's actually, if you look at it, quite all right. Jump cut, just got a delivery. Sorry. Here we go. Right. Now what we're going to do, we're just going to burn this in. Just give it little pulses. I'm not high. I'm on actually way too high, to be quite honest. Shouldn't be more than 20 watt. Pull them out to them anyway. Oh, that's 90. Just give it a little pulses. Give it, give it some time. What you want, you want it to glow out from. The, well, that's just awesome. Just give it a, a stroke. But that stroking does is it, it gives you. Here we go. It vibrates the coil and that gives you a bit of, uh, gives the chance for the coil to work the hotspots out because then uh, things are apart. So what we do now, we take, we take our, um, our wicking, pinch and twist, put it through here. Uh, Hey, go on, go on, you can do it. Here we go. Let me just help it through here. Here we go, we are through. Then we take the scissors. Stay with me. Stay with me. And then we cut it round about here. Round about here is, if you look at the bottom of my scissors, I rest it against this inner ring. And I just cut there. That's what I do. Right. Now we fluff the cotton up. We want to make it nice and fluffy. Fluffy, fluffy. Here we go. Now we put cotton into the hole. We tease it in from the bottom. Let me take one because this is has some relatively small juice holes, and you keep on going, teasing it in, and make sure it is nice and in. 
and this works different on direct lung tanks mind you so this tank is slightly different and when you feel resistance like i feel now you stop you stop you don't want to uh stop it you know uh stop the juice flow by cramping all the uh, cotton in so that's why you tease from the bottom here we go you just take it a little bit from the bottom and work the cotton in that way here we go let's make sure it's in there fill it in in this particular case the cotton must go to the bottom of the juice hole some other atomizers it mustn't in this particular case should go all the way down I feel resistance now so I stop whatever is left just give a haircut there we go just tidy it up a bit there we go go to this side tidy it up a bit Here we go. And that's more or less what it looks like. Gives you an idea. Here we go. Now we take uh, our juice, which today we have Mars and melons. Here you go. And if you speak Afrikaans, you're allowed to giggle now. If you don't speak Afrikaans, don't worry about it. And we'll move on. Here we go. We'll put a bit of Mars and melons on here. Just give it a bit of a fire. Here we go. Another bit of a fire. Yeah, that is enough. You don't need to overflow it. You don't need to overflow your whole uh, deck. You don't need to flood your deck. That is all you need to do. Then you take your top piece, put it on there. You just screw it a little bit the wrong way till you hear the click and i only want to hear one click oh, i'm german so no. and that's it now we can open up take a bit of mars and melons yeah you can stop giggling now and we'll uh, fill it up there you go go there it is and that is the geek wake out wicked up juiced up and ready to go i'll see you guys upstairs cheers right and that was the geek vape emmet it's all called up wicked up it's juice in mars lemons uh, melons lemons melons And here you are, works like a bomb and it actually tastes delicious. I mean, as far as melons go, this is really delicious. Here you go. That's the juice. I believe it's a local juice. I'm sure it is. They don't say, they don't say at all, but I believe I bought it locally. So I believe it's a South African juice and it is very, very nice. So that's the Geek Web Emmet, and I must say it, it's the only mouse to lung apart from you know the AIO which I started out earlier, which wasn't really mouse to lung. This is my only real mouse to lung atomizer. I have two of those and they work. I enjoy my mouse to lung, I like my tobaccos, and but I also like other juices, higher nicotine juices through mouse to lung, and the Geek Web Emmet fits the bill. The airflow control. Here on top is fantastic. 
you can make it as tight or as open as you like with the single hole um, here we go it even has a stop in I don't know if you can see it. it's probably on this camera you won't see it uh, that's the smallest hole so that's the famous you know suck the golf ball through the garden hose scenario it's a bit tight for me i've now did it on let's do the second biggest hole the second biggest hole on the airflow control on the single hole airflow control that's not bad that's not bad at all the way i rocked it and i like it is having it slightly more open on three holes on the slot airflow control oh it's delicious i have it at uh, 20 20 watts over here the uh, coil comes out at 0 0.81 ohms and uh, it tastes delicious it really tastes delicious i tell you what it does make a difference to put in a bit of a complex coil even in a mouth to lung a mouth to lung you can get away with with uh, normal simple straight coils and i've done it a long time no problem but i must say uh since i got that wire and and built that coil it it does make a it does make a difference and i really love the difference it makes and that juice together with that juice it really is delicious it really is delicious i love it all right well here we go that was my first tank which i ever had my first rta the geek wave emmet mouth to lung rta and if you can i'm sure if you can get still get it you get it for cheap and it it is a wonderful mouth to lung tank i cannot compare it to others I'm not here to compare it to others just telling you what i did and that's it well thanks very much for watching hope you all enjoyed that uh, we had the uh, uh, the, the joy of seeing me fumbling around on the table to get the coils and the, and uh the wicking into this and uh, we got it right eventually that's the most important thing there's no gurgling it vapes beautifully i really love what it does and uh, should you ever come across uh, one it's a uh, I, I really can recommend it you will see i have a different uh, i have a different drip tip on it i don't like those very narrow drip tips it comes with i like a slightly wider drip tip vapes for me more comfortable well, thanks very much, guys. I hope you all enjoyed that. And uh, till uh, next time when I tell you about the next atomizer I bought. Cheerio.